Divers getting ready and lifting bags are already in the water. Lifting bag, we have only one bag. So today's uh, goal is to lift the table that weighs uh, uh, approximately 900 kilos underwater. So we have one ton lifting bag and they try to lift it. Let's see what happens. Commercial divers are getting ready and going into the basket to be lowered down on the sea floor. Once the basket is down on the bottom, the divers exit the basket. After checking that their umbilicals are not entangled, they will start to move to the work site. Wearing the diver's boots underwater makes walking around similar like walking on the moon. Once they reach the work site, one of the divers checks all the rigging so that the job in hand can be done safely. While one diver checks the rigging, the other diver observes from the safe distance. Cameras on both divers' helmets provide a live feed to the surface, so that the supervisor who is responsible for the job can see as well that everything is done correctly. Now the divers will pre-fill the lifting bag. Air from the surface will fill up the bag just a little bit to get the lifting bag floating. Once the lifting bag is buoyant enough, the second diver double checks the rigging and makes sure all the shackles are placed correctly. Moving quickly and efficiently underwater to save time and money. Once everything is double checked, they will start the filling of the lifting bag. Make it hot, says the diver and starts to fill up the bag. While one diver fills the bag, the other one constantly checks the table. Is it buoyant enough? Can they already lift it? The goal is not to lift the table onto the surface, but make it buoyant enough for the two divers to lift it and maneuver it around. Yes, now the table can be moved. Make it cold is the command given to the surface and they will start to try.
now the 900 kilo table is lifted by the divers as it weighs almost nothing. All thanks to the lifting bag and the calculations made earlier. Once the job is done, all the air from the lifting bag is dumped by opening a dump valve. Until the table is securely on the seafloor again. Divers are happy that the work has been done correctly. They celebrate. But because this is a school, emergency procedures must be practiced constantly. One of the divers receives a message from the supervisor. Unconscious diver exercise. You are now unconscious. Exhausted from the dancing, one of the divers collapses. It is now the other diver's job to make sure the unconscious diver is brought back to the basket and onto the surface. Time is everything. He can use the unconscious diver's dry suit to gain some buoyancy, which makes carrying him back a little bit easier. Maneuvering on the seafloor between the rocks is difficult enough even by yourself. Now he has to be extra careful not to lose time. He places the unconscious diver into the basket. To make sure he doesn't move, he has to be secured with a winch. To handle these situations, they have to be practiced every day, so that when something like this would really happen, the muscle memory kicks in. Basket is secured, ready to leave the bottom and the basket is taken up. It is important to keep the unconscious diver's airways open, so the head has to be held in the correct position. You have to be extra careful near the surface, because the waves will move both divers inside the basket. Back on this surface, the other members of the diving team can assist and help. This was a rescue exercise. If something should happen in real life situations, all the students in the diving school will know what and how to do.
If you're wondering how, how we can be sure that everything is done correctly. There's so many valves and knobs to turn which one close, which one open. Haha. <laughs> we have here the checklists. If you take the checklist, you go point by point. To open it, to close it, how to do it, in which order. So we get it done always the same way, always correctly. The same goes uh, for putting on the equipment, the helmet. Everything is done by the checklists. And why do we have the journal keeper? All that is happening, the journal keeper will keep an eye on it. He will write all the details, all the times, what time do they get to the bottom, when they are leaving the basket, they are going to the work site, what depth they are on. We can take it from the panel here and keep a close eye on them. Then we have a communication. So you can always speak with the diver, they can uh, speak to each other. So it's all safe and all done by the checklist. Sometimes you need to change the one Z. How do you say it in English? Hand seal and neck seal. Yeah? So we changed my neck seal actually. <laughs> it was loose and I had a wet diving with a dry suit. And now we're changing my hand seal. Check. And let's change the other one. Thank you.